Hey guys, this video is going to show you how to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS using Google Cloud's load balancer. Let's get started. Okay, so there is a guide for setting up your HTTP redirect load balancer, but it'll probably be faster to just track along with this video. So the gist of how it works is we've already set up our HTTPS load balancer, meaning if you go to our website on HTTPS, it will resolve in a secure fashion. And this is my website here, and you can see the uh, padlock here indicating we have SSL in place. The problem is if I go to the unsecure version of the site, I will get a 404. And that's because we have nothing in place to handle port 80, whereas SSL is on port 443. So typically, Historically, you would set this up on like maybe your Apache server, your Nginx server, and you'd have some sort of redirect in place. Um, you don't even need to go that deep with it if you're using GCP. You can handle the redirect on the front end, which is um, optimal because uh, you don't even need to proxy the request to the back end before um, changing the protocol. So that's what we're going to do. So the way you do that in GCP is we set up a separate load balancer. It's kind of an abbreviated load balancer to handle HTTP and redirect it to HTTPS. So I'm gonna go over to create load balancer. I'm gonna select an HTTP load balancer. I'll select from internet to VM. We'll just call this whimsical HTTP load balancer. And one thing to note here is there's no backend configuration needed. So we can skip over to host and path rules. We're gonna select advanced we are going to select redirect to client to a different host and path. We're going to select prefix redirect. We're going to make sure that we have 301 moved permanently selected here. And then we're just going to toggle HTTPS. And that is it on the host and path rule. So I'll, I'll select done. I will toggle over to front end configuration. And what we're going to select here is the front end IP that was generated by our HTTPS load balancer. So in my case, that is this one right here. And if we're not sure about that, we can go over to our HTTPS load balancer and see what we have in place. But it's that static IP that we generated for the HTTPS load balancer. And it should just show up in the drop down here. And that is it on the front end configuration. I'm going to select done. And I'm going to go over to review and finalize and then select create. OK, so now we should have a new load balancer that can handle port 80 protocol HTTP and issue a 301 moved permanently redirect to our HTTPS load balancer. So I'm going to let this spin up. As is the case with any network DNS changes, we are subject to TTL propagations. So if I go over to my DNS settings here, I've set my, my TTL to four seconds. So things should propagate fairly quickly, but local DNS settings do get cached. So there's different ways to try to bypass that we can flush our DNS. So on Mac, it's this command here. And then we can also make sure we're using private or incognito windows. And that sometimes helps speed up the um, propagation of these settings. Okay, so let's pop open an incognito window. I'm gonna toggle open the network tab. And then let's see if we can't get this redirect to happen. So requesting HTTP, okay, so we did hit the HTTPS site. So based on what browser you're using, sometimes redirects get consolidated into a single entry within the network tab, but Chrome does break them out. So the first request for the document, HTTP whimsical.ai, get request, um, the server responded with status code 301 move permanently and also responded with the location header indicating that the browser should forward to HTTPS, and then the next request is HTTPS, and that's where I get back my actual website. 
So now we are in good shape. So basically, if you're setting up SSL uh, using GCP, you should also have a HTTP load balancer to handle redirects uh, coming from HTTP. Anyways, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for listening.